Yeah, that wasn't unexpected at all. Uh, Baylor just whipped Texas. Uh, just killed us. Um, 92-77 in Waco. Senior night for them. Uh, just just beat down. And, you know, I said this to a and I'm going to say it to Baylor. Y'all are just better than Texas. Uh, right now, just just leaves and bounds better than this Texas team. I think Texas, right, I don't even know what seed. We're probably playing Iowa State to start off the Big 12 tournament. I don't even know what seed we're in. It's probably pretty low. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens in the tournament. I, I have no expectations whatsoever for this team. Um, you know, and, and then for the national championship tournament, um, you know, the fact that, that people are just putting this in already uh, for the NCAA, which that may change, which can't blame them. But the fact that many people have already you know, penciled Texas in for that tournament uh, blows my mind right now because, shoot, uh, this team, <laughs> I don't know why this team would even be there right now, uh, losing as many games as they have so far in such a quick, uh, short you know, short amount of time and falling from the rankings as quick as they did. Uh, one of the one of the uh, biggest mirages ever uh, in college basketball history, uh, you know, number one in the country, start off 17-0, and uh, and then – really just show you true colors or something. I don't know what happened. Um, and I like this team. It's not like, you know, I hate this team. Like, you know, the guys are stupid or whatever. Um, it's just, it's not there. It's not there. Uh, congrats to Baylor. Um, Tweedy Carter and those guys, uh, senior night, you know, him and Lomers were graduating. Um, Lomers did those little things, whatever. You know, of course, Tweedy, Tweedy Carter and the other guys were uh, really the um, the guys who brought this team to win. Uh, turnovers. Caught forcing turnovers, unforced turnovers, whichever Baylor's going to score off of those. Um, you know, I thought Gary Johnson played well on offense uh, at times. I guess for what we saw tonight, that was well for Texas. Um, defensively, that was pathetic. There was nothing. There's no resistance against them. Um, they can shoot the ball from outside. We can't, at least not consistently. You know, Jordan Hamilton, Avery Bradley, even Jacobin Brown can hit threes. Uh, well, like, you know, we don't have a guy on the team who can – just spot up, and if you hit him wide open, he's going to drain it. Uh, we don't have that guy. Um, you know, we don't know how to react to a zone. Um, it's, I don't know, there's chemistry issues on this team. It's, it, the chemistry issues aren't that the guys don't like each other. Uh, you, I think you can tell from this team, you know, when guys go down and get hurt, other guys step up, try to, uh, you know, wear their numbers, try to, you know, show support. I think the guys like each other. Uh, and if it's a group, good group of guys. There's no character issues or nothing. It's just they don't know. Uh, how to play together. They don't know what, what they are. And uh, they hadn't known that since the conference play started. Um, you know, Damian James really wouldn't exist today. Uh, Dexter wasn't much of a factor. Uh, all around, just a beatdown. And like I said, uh, and for everybody who keeps thinking that I am this Texas Longhorns fan who thinks that uh, no one's better than Texas and no one can beat Texas, and when they beat it, it's, it's, a, it's a fluke or something, I'm telling you right now, Baylor's better, A&M's better, uh, Kansas is better, Kansas State is better. All those teams are better than Texas. Um, and I would even say to the other teams in the, in the coming up in the uh, NCAA tournament, uh, we all know what Kansas and Kansas State are going to bring to the table. You guys better watch out for the Aggies and Baylor Bears. Uh, those are two very dangerous teams in the tournament. As for Texas, I guess we're still in. If we are, I don't know. It's you know, any team can make a run. You you, you can tell yourself. You know, George Mason got to the Final Four. Anyone can do it. And it, it's easy to tell yourself that when you're not watching the team play. But then you watch them play, and you just shake your head like, I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, so, um, you know, I didn't make a video after beat OU. Uh, OU's not any good. Uh, and they already, but even though they, even saying that, they beat us in Oklahoma earlier this year. Uh, we won that game. Uh, it was, you know, senior night. It was great to see those guys. And it is. It was great to see. Uh, Damian James, Justin Mason, Dexter Pittman for the last time uh, playing for the Texas Longhorns in Austin. Um, and it was a good game. I mean, it wasn't anything impressive. You beat OU, which is one of the worst teams in the conference. Um, in a struggle, I might add. So, not really asserting yourself there. So, yeah, this team's had a lot of problems. Nothing new. Uh, uh, you know, Baylor kicking butt, third in, the, third in the conference. Congrats to that, guys. That's a major accomplishment for that program uh, and for that school. Uh, my huge, con I mean, huge congrats to you guys. I can't say anything enough that good about Baylor and about Texas A&M, you know. So, once again, to the guys who keep thinking that I just hate on A&M because I hate A&M, uh, no, when I, I usually have legitimate complaints about Texas A&M, I have no problem admitting when I truly think a team 
uh, is better than mine. And right now it's obvious. So, Big 12 tournament coming next week. I think we got Iowa State to start off with. Wouldn't surprise we lost that game, but we may win that one. Um, and then I think we play Baylor again, which that'll be fun. They've already swept us this year. So, always stick behind my team. But just because I'm saying this criticism doesn't mean that I hate the Texas Longhorns or I'm just not going to watch them or support them or anything. No, I'm always keep the horns high, always – um, you know, got their back, and if they if they surprise me, which it really will surprise me, I'll be pumped, and I'll tell you what I'm wrong. Uh, right now, it's hard to have any kind of faith that they'll do something special. But <sighs> hook 'em horns, Texas fight. But congrats Baylor for getting the third seed. Congrats Kansas for winning the conference. Uh, K State for almost doing it. Uh, and Texas A&M for having a great year. Those top four, those are your top four seeds. Well earned top four seed. Well, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if A&M got the fourth seed. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think Mizzou may. I don't know. Uh, I think I ain't even got it. Whatever. I'm rambling right now. So, hook em horns, Texas fight. Congrats to everybody ahead of us. You all deserved it, and you all deserve to kick our butts. See you guys later.